Good evening, everyone. Is my audio? Uh, is my voice is audible? Is my voice audible? Yes, ma'am. Completely audible. Okay. Welcome back. Today happens to be day nine of uh, fundamentals of full stack development course from Excel. Let me share my screen. Is my screen visible? Is my screen visible? Please ping me. And the size is also fine. Whatever the size, text size I'm using, is it fine? One second. I'm just checking the charts. Somebody is saying it is a little small. Is that fine now? Uh, Madhushri is saying it is not visible. Uh, please Madhushri rejoin because others can uh, say it. Okay, then let's start. So what we discussed yesterday? Yes, JS or JavaScript. And why do we need JavaScript? Why do we need JavaScript? Interactions, what else? For dynamic effect, JavaScript is used for creating dynamic page. With HTML and CSS alone, can we create dynamic page? No, it is not possible. We need JavaScript to create a dynamic page. What is dynamic page? What is dynamic page and what is static page? Static page is the one. Static page is the one where the content where the content of the web page it's always remains the same. Okay, and dynamic page based on the user interactions, content will be changing. That is the difference. Based on the user interaction, like you are doing something and screen will dynamically change. With static content, even if you do multiple interactions, it will always shows the static content. If one person is using that page and user for example, if I'm asking, if I'm accessing the screen, and if you're accessing the screen, we both will be seeing the same content only. And it will not respond to our inputs. With dynamic content, if I am using the screen, and if you're using the screen, content will be dynamically changing. And it would dynamically change the content based on our interactions. Is that clear? And uh, now tell me, uh, is there any similarities between Java and JavaScript? Is there any similarities? Answer is no. Answer is no. Okay. And where we will use JavaScript? Whether can I use JavaScript for uh, server side scripting? Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. We can use JavaScript as a server side and as well as in the client side. So even with uh, JavaScript, uh, JavaScript knowledge, right? You can build end-to-end -end application. 
what is end to end application if you ask me from user interface like whatever user is seeing in the screen from user interface till database and from database to user interface is that clear is that clear any doubts regarding end to end development so only with javascript if you are strong enough in javascript and if you don't like other programming languages right even with this knowledge you can do end to end application development without any other uh, frameworks or programming language knowledge is that clear is that clear and where exactly javascript run where it will run javascript run inside the browser it will run inside the browser and if we want to run javascript outside the browser means which which one we should use which one we should use it is node js it is node js always remember it is node js server and node js node js server it is written using javascript only is it clear any question so far and how we can include javascript in our html page since javascript runs inside the inside the browser by default we can't run javascript as it is what we have to do is browser can understand browser will, will render what html right so in the html we can add script tag and inside script tag we can write our javascript code or another way is we can write our own javascript file with dot js extension and we should provide it as a source attribute is that clear if you just want to uh, directly execute uh, javascript uh, without html and all means what you have to do is just open any uh, window browser window it can be chrome edge or firefox whatever it might be you can choose any one of the browsers of your choice and then you have to click on inspect or you have to open developer tool okay once you open it you can go to console and here you can write javascript code for example console dot log welcome everyone sorry syntax error see it is printing and if i say arithmetic operator one plus one what is the data type of uh, one what is the data type of one it is number i can see only few members will respond respond in the chat why it is so whether if we are giving the wrong answer if you are giving the wrong answer am i specifying your name to everyone saying oh, okay this guys are gi not giving the proper answer like that it is not like that right at least you should attempt you should attempt to give the answer is that fine you should be active in the class then only you will learn something if you are not active then if you just listen to uh, my teaching right then it is of no use you should listen and you should act also is that clear because i'm saying javascript is very important if you learn javascript then you can learn or then you can learn, easily learn any of the front end technology frameworks like angular react js vue js if you're strong in javascript tell me give me one week of time okay i will make you to learn this technologies angular node js react js vue js and all if provided if you're strong in javascript okay just one week is one week is enough and even if you're not interested with java or python or any c++ or c languages right if you just know javascript at least you can survive in the in industry because using javascript alone you can do the end to end development so this topic is very very important please listen and also act 
please please be active okay don't uh, make me to point someone and to uh, tell the, give the answer don't do that okay and then we'll come back and when you, uh, yeah regarding environment setup since it runs inside the browser uh, we need any one of the browsers and my favorite and uh, uh, if you take any uh, clients or customers uh, right everyone's favorite is chrome that would be the uh, basic um, requirement that client or customers give okay i already um, explained you what is who are who we will call it as clients and who we will call it as customers that i have already explained so chrome browser it's the minimum requirement okay so my favorite is also chrome only and for editing the code you can use any um, editors like notepad notepad plus plus sublime text anything you can use and we are using visual studio code in this course okay and then what else we and then we saw how we can print something in console actually if you take any uh, programming language right uh, like java or python we will start with this only how we can print something in the console so in javascript also we started with this how we can print something and uh, there are so many varieties we saw log debug warn error info and all and then uh how we can add JavaScript comments. If it is single line, then we can use double slash. If it is multi uh, level or uh, block level comments for block level comments, we will use a uh, slash star and, and we will add a content. And then again, we will end it with star and slash. Is that clear? And next important co concept is uh, variable declaration. We will use what uh, uh, keywords for declaring a variable i've highlighted over here let var and const okay let var and const and if you ask me what is the difference var is which scope which scope variable is it var is global scope and constant letter block scope or local scope even if you if this is very uh, important or a uh, favorite question for interviewer okay if i am taking the interview for javascript developer or any front end engineer then i will be asking this question for them what is the difference even if they have two plus or four plus year of experience also i will be asking them and now you should tell me what is global scope if it is global scope even we can access the content of the element before it is declared right how is that possible how is that possible i showed you the example also how is that possible it is possible because if we declare any variable if we declare any variable using var using var then what javascript will do is it will add all the declarations at the starting starting of the code that's why if you access it if you access it then you you should be able to get some answers now you should tell me only the declaration part will be moved to the first line or even initialization part will be moved to the first line to be precise what I'm trying to ask is, if I say where a is equal to 10, 10, whether only declaration part, declaration is uh, we are declaring one variable called a, will that be moved to the first line or along with initialization also it will move? No, it is always only declaration. What will happen is just assume we are, you are in 10th line okay you are in 10th line and you're both declaring declaring is var a this is this is just a declaration and a is assigned with value 10 this is the initialization part okay if you do this way javascript will just add 
declaration part over here and the initialization part will remain same it would be in the line 10 only and you and now tell me if you access the value of a what would be the value because it's just initialized and it is not assigned with any value what is the value at line number if i access it what is the value now tell me you can see here right it is just declared not initialized so what is the value it is undefined 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 is a data type some people are saying it is zero that will happen in javascript with the object variables it is not java don't compare javascript with java in javascript irrespective of the data types since it is dynamically type type language if you just declare a variable uh, without initialization value will be undefined value will be undefined is that clear in java it might be for number or integer it is zero for float it is 0, 0, 0.0 and for string it is null it is like that right because in java it is java it is statically type language so while declaring you will specify the type that's why uh, compiler will assign some default values zero null like that now tell me since javascript is dynamically type language while declaring do we know the data type of this do we know the data type of this no right so without knowing the data type how you can assign the default value logically it does not make any sense right so what javascript has done uh, javascript uh, developers have done that is they are just giving undefined value for all uh, variables is it clear without initialization is it clear i'll just say declaration will be more here declaration will be more here not initialization why i am stressing stressing more on this is because it would be asked in the interview and also uh, it can be asked in the coding interview as well okay they will just give you this statement and they will ask you what would be the value at line number nine then you should be uh, able to answer it that's why i'm stressing this much and if you ask me what is the difference between let and const it is very simple const if the values value will never change means you can go for const for example your other number whether your other number will go will change like for every year they will change your other number yes or no no right then in that case you should use const in order to avoid uh, any changes to this variable okay and what about your mobile number it can change right it can change if you change your sim card then your number will also change so in that case you can use let is that clear is that clear any doubt and then we discussed about primitive and non-primitive data types available in javascript okay What are the most uh, frequently used uh, primitive data types in JavaScript? It's here. At least uh, people who are not responding, look at the notes and try to give the answer. I don't want the same people to answer. I want answers from others as well. At least type it, give, uh, put some effort to type. I will quickly go through that. We have number. In order to handle all numerical values, we will be using number data type. And in JavaScript, for all different kinds of um, numeric values, like 1, 1.1, 1, 1, uh, 1, 1 exponential, 12, for everything, the data type would be number only. We don't have uh, specific data types like integer, float, and all in JavaScript. We just have number. 
and if it is series of characters it would be string we will use string data type for example student name student branch name college name for this information we will use string data type when it is is yes or no condition then we will go for boolean data type and the value possible values are true or false if it is yes true if it is no false for example if you uh, is is the student graduated you can either be graduated or you you are undergraduate um under uh, this one right then in that case it would be yes or no if you are graduated then yes if you are not then no it's like that true yes means true no means false and undefined as i discussed if you de just declare a variable without giving any value then it is undefined and we do have null null represents nothing for example say um, i was having some middle name and after my marriage i am not having any middle name then at that time i can set my middle name as null or uh, you can assume i will be having before marriage i will be having uh, middle name and last name and after marriage i will be having just uh, middle name and i will i will not be having last name at that time i can set last name as null is it clear it represents nothing whenever whenever you feel okay you should make this value as some empty it can be object it can be uh, object array or string number irrespective of the type you can use null values except boolean boolean because boolean can accept only true or false in that case you should provide true or false only in other cases like even for number and all you can specify it as null is it clear and to know the type of a data type we should use type of operator and we discussed about creating a function in javascript always a function should perform a specific task and it will uh, what is the advantage if you ask me it provides a reusability of code and this is a syntax function keyword we should use and then the function method and here we can pass the optional arguments and in javascript always remember function name should be unique function name should be unique even though it will not throw any error uh, if you declare two functions what will happen is if you call some uh, if you call that function at that time that function call will not get executed because there is there are conflicts we have two functions with the same name so at that time nothing will get executed is that clear always function name should be unique like java and all we don't have a method overloading concept here we don't have method overloading concept so it should be unique and uh, i have given more readings uh, here what i have done is i have just added callback function here if you want to read more you can read about callback function okay is it clear say so no and then we discussed about non primitive data type and mostly in javascript we do have two uh, non primitive data types one is object and another one is array and last class we discussed about object object is combination of what it would be properties and behaviors and for example person will be having name age qualification and a behavior of a person is you can walk you can sleep you can talk right so this is an example in the if it is object oriented programming language or object oriented language what we will do is we will consider each and everything as an object for example now i am using laptop it is an object laptop will be having color and also model which company and all will be there and laptop can um, like display the images and all right display the images display the videos those are all behaviors of an of a laptop and color uh, model name and all are properties everything if you give me anything which is a real world entity uh, it would be an ob uh, like object for object oriented concept is it clear and we discussed how we can create uh, how we can create object 
so syntax is like this we can use any uh, keyword uh, for uh, declaring a variable it is also a variable declaration only but it would be having key value pair comma separated key value pair in the uh, key we will provide property name or behavior name and we will provide the values for example you can say here name age height like that we are specifying and there is another way and there is another way using object constructor how if you ask me we should use new keyword and then object and then we can provide the values like this way using dot operator there are two ways we can access operator uh, objects right one is dot operator and another, another one is bracket operator okay and uh, we saw how we can add one more property this way so if you notice wait it is not available over here right we can add one more property here and if you want to delete that property then you should use delete person dot age that will delete age property and we can update also how we can update person dot name now it was some right instead of that gives an it will work is that clear And uh, now you should tell me, so bracket notation and the uh, um, dot notation, we have a syntax here and uh, we should, we can go for any one of these approaches, whatever you, you feel comfortable, you can go with this. I feel uh, most of the cases I will be using dot operator only because it is, um, it is like clean code I feel with bracket notation i have to do so many things within brackets i have to specify the property and enclosed within a single quote or double quote instead of that you can go with dot operator only but in order to access the property dynamically what is dynamically if you ask me always uh, we are accessing the name property here right what if i want to access different different properties like uh, I will take user input. If you user says uh, name, then I should display name. If user says age, then I should display age. In that case, in that case, I should use what? Bracket notation. You can see this example here. I'm taking a property and here I'm inputting name. And here you can notice that we don't have quotes here. In this case, if I just update name with uh, age, right? Will I get uh, age property value? Yes, right? Yes or no? Yes or no? Is it confusing uh, for you people? And if I say qualification, will I get qualification? Will I get qualification? Yes, right. So dynamically, we can, based on the user input, we can just display whatever they want, whatever they're interested in. That is the advantage of bracket notation, which is not available with dot operator. And also we can have functions also. Behavior would be represented using functions. And this is a syntax. So we should specify the property and the value would be function. Okay, so this is what we discussed uh, yesterday. Today, anyways, we do have one more uh, non primitive data type, right? That is array. Before starting with array, I want to discuss a few important uh, functions which we will use for string because that is very, very important. Even if you take a uh, string and arrays functions, right? Uh, if you if you're strong with that then you can clear any coding interviews okay that is the advantage if you know the um, string and array concepts if you uh, if the, if the interviewer ask you to write some code right these uh, string functions and array functions will uh, really help you that's why what i will be doing is first i will be starting with uh, strings uh, strings functions and then i will cover both array concept as well as array functions like what are all the inbuilt functions available is it fine 
Now what I'll do is I'll just close this notes and I will close this console as well. What I will do is I will open new notes for day eight. So I will be covering strings today. I will start with strings. I will be covering arrays also. Okay. I'll go back. So in day eight, I will create um, one HTML file called string.html. And then I will create a new folder called JavaScript. And inside JavaScript, I will be creating string.js. And in HTML, I will do nothing. I will just import script tag. Okay. I will just uh, add a script tag and I will import string.js file. Is it clear? I'll say source and we just have to provide the path. JS, string.js and then script, done. Now I'll go back to string.js. So today's topic is string, strings. Why do we need string? You already know. It will represent a sequence of characters. For example, string one is equal to, Sachin is my favorite uh, player. So I will be using Sachin multiple times. Okay. So this is a valid syntax, right? And I will add one more. Okay. So we can use either single code or double code. And now I will do one more thing. I will add it as this, whether it is valid or invalid, tell me. What error it will give? And one more thing, uh, guys, I'm using day eight here. Uh, you might get confused you might get confused because day four, day four, we had database session, database session. And what I'm covering now is, what I'm now uh, covering is, it is JavaScript or front-end technologies, front-end technologies. So with respect to front-end technology concepts or topics, it is day eight. Okay, and day four, uh, DB for DB session, they will upload uh, upload uh, uh, like notes as database only. Is it clear? And uh, so day eight, I am referring to front end technologies wise. It is day day eight. Okay, is that clear? And now I'll go back, and I am already running it. I'll just open the console. You can see here. Okay, let's. Okay, it is. Why it is not giving any error? Oh, one second. There is some spelling mistake. Now, if I go and check, see, such an is not defined. If you don't uh, give single quote or double quote, right? Then JavaScript will assume that you are assigning some variable and this variable such an exist exist in this file. Variable such an exist in this file. No, right. That's why it is complaining such an is not defined. So it is. It will give not defined. Such an is not defined. Is that clear? Always you should use a single quote or double quote. And my next question is. Uh, say, I will add one sentence. Anyways, uh, for string, I will I can add sentence, right? I will say, I am I will I will get back to you. This is uh, favorite, uh, like HR's favorite. See, I'm saying I am trying to convey this one. They will say, I will write, oh, okay, sorry. 
i will get back to you you know this sentence right so this is a way we will use it with um, apostrophe what i'll do is instead of this i will add it with single quote only then what it will do is it will give error it is in syntax wise it is wrong because you are ending year only but my requirement is different i want javascript to treat the single quote as a character it is a special character in that case in that case what you have to do is how to escape special character is we should use, we should use this backslash that's it now if you go and check there won't be any error and now if i print this sorry what i'll do is i will make this one as string 3 okay now you can see i will even this one is present over here and same thing and always remember if you use double quote then it is not a problem then it is not a problem but if it is single quote and if you want to um, add some single quote then we, you should make sure that you will be adding backslash similar to that if what if i want to add backslash only then it will consider a slash t as a special character right see t itself is not uh, printing slash t means uh, it will add one tab space you know tab space right that it will add in order to avoid that we should add two uh, slashes see now it is printing it over here is it clear any doubts so far yes now my next uh, thing is i will be having two or uh, three names first name bhavya second name sorry middle name say yes and then last name okay say t now in order to show all this thing three things together i should concatenate or add all these things right and in javascript how we can do this one as using plus operator say full name first name sorry first name plus middle name plus last name oh one second i will always do spelling mistakes because nowadays like after joining the uh, industry right you will never um, write something even uh, even for uh, while developing also mostly we will add all the extensions which will be giving the options and all so always uh, we, will, we will commit this mistake we hardly write it uh, even my underwriting has become worse now now i'll come back see it is giving this bavia st okay this is not my requirement what i want is in between i want to add space so i can add space just simple add one string with space instead of uh, adding directly here you can add, add one variable called space and then you can assign this space value to that and you can add it but you can go for this as well now if you go and see it is proper understood how we can concatenate in javascript and there is one more important concept now i am saying string comparison okay and before that i will just show you how we can con uh, if i combine 123 with bavya whether it will give an error 
it is number data types and it is string data types and i am concatenating it whether it will give an error if you use it in java and all it will definitely give an error but with javascript as very user friendly see not user friendly it is developer friendly see since it is taking it will it, it and the data type of this would be string we can concatenate it is not an issue what i'll do is i will just add type of operator over here and then we'll if we go and check it is string and sim, same thing you can do it with um, boolean value as well see with boolean value of it would be uh, looking it will just concatenate why not undefined and null you might ask me this question so before you ask i will just add those as well if you add those then also it would be considered as string only see null value undefined undefined also converted into string and uh, this would be the string values is it clear next important concept okay you should remember this one it is very very important i am telling you and even from the uh, interview purpose it is very important i will say sorry instead of that i will say allo okay and then var string2 is equal to allo only now what i'll do i, I will compare it always do remember see if you compare it two possible values are possible right it can be equal or it can it can't be equal only two options are available is there any other options other than these two tell me other than these two is there any options no right when it is yes or no condition which what would be the data type yes it is boolean so i'll do what i'll do is i'll say string1 equal equal string2 then it will say see it is true and now what i'll do is i'll just change the value this time what i'll do is i will not uh, declare a vari uh, variable instead of that i will use the make use of the existing one it is normal comparison and what i'll do is i will add one more thing now what would be the value it is false now tell me whether string comparison we are comparing right whether it is case sensitive operation or case insensitive operation what case insensitive if you don't know see now it is uh, different cases right for example h is not matching it is upper case and lower case whether it it will give true or false it is all false so it will it does case sensitive operation okay and then now okay now i will do one i will give one more example okay what i will do is i will add like this and i will add one like this can you see values are equal here we can use uh, string data type for storing numeric values as well right because my uh, email id is uh, bavia123 so it can have numeric values now tell me what should be the answer what would be the answer yes it is true but uh, but that is not an expected behavior right that is not an expected behavior right it should give me false because the data type is different this is what uh, this is not what i am expecting right it is not javascript fault it is not javascript fault it is developer's fault when you want to do strict comparison what do you mean by strict comparison if you ask me if it is normal comparison the way we are doing over here just um, 
ignore my spelling mistakes okay if it is just normal comparison then only values would be compared it is uh, not um, it is not at all uh, javascript mistake it is developer's mistake okay and if you want to do strict comparison strict comparison if you ask me what is it it is very uh, it is also simple with strict comparison both values and data type would be compared so it now it is your developer's call whether you want to do normal comparison or data type comparison you should tell the javascript then it will do it properly always remember machine will uh, machine or any programming languages will always give the accurate results provided if you have developed it properly okay now i i'm using three equals here that means strict comparison now if you see it is giving false is that clear is it clear next we'll discuss uh, important string methods which uh, would definitely help you for clearing the coding interview they might ask you some theory questions also here mostly if it is related coding stuffs if you are more into coding and all then these uh, stuffs will help you okay okay first one is caret caret okay now if you ask me what is this see since string uh, in it is sequence of characters right series of characters right so first position h is there second position e is there l is there in the third position and l is there in the fourth position and o is o is there in the fifth position or last position right right so if i want to access the individual characters individual characters i'm saying if i want to get the third element third character it is possible using caret and string index would start from if you take any uh, if you take any um, what programming language it will always start from what zero zero to string length minus one so what is string length if you ask me number of characters in string i'll just add it number of characters in string okay for example if you want to ask it will go if we, here you have five characters right total character is five so it, it uh, if it starts from 0 0 1 2 3 4 it will be there till n minus 1 character if you take number of characters in string as n then it is n minus 1 is it clear so if you want first uh, index uh, you can access i will say hello world and if you want to access the first one how you can say if you ask me it is string one dot char at char at zero okay like this you can access all the elements like first one second one third one and all so i will say for accessing the last one i can say 0 1 2 3 4 i need not to count i think i will just take some random value if i take uh, 7 then we'll see see h o it is giving understood so first for first character it is 0 always remember it would start from 0 okay and what if we don't have the 
uh, character. For example, here the maximum uh, length is uh, less than uh, say 15 or 20. It does not matter for me. What I will do is I will try to get the thousand, uh, thousand uh, character, okay? And I'll say thousand. One second. See? Now, whether this character, this index present in the uh, string one, no, right? What it will print? Whether it will give an error? See, you can see here, it has printed nothing. Is it clear? It printed nothing. If I, I will just refresh it also. What I will do is, uh, console log, I will say, just for your reference. See, it has not printed anything. Okay. Is it clear? And also there is one more way. You need not to use a, a caret function always. You can do it for string one of zero as well. That will also give you the same result. Is it clear? And now you tell me, if I assign some value to this, string one of zero is equal to something, is that possible or not? Is that possible? It is not possible in JavaScript. Now, if you assign something like this, sorry, I will give one value only. It will give an error. It should give an error why it is not showing. See? It is not possible. You can see it over here. B, I am saying, still the value is H only. Is that clear? It is not possible. And also whether negative index is uh, indexing is possible. So primitive data, somebody is asking why it is not possible. Primitive data type, we can't change. We can't change primitive data type. You can change the whole thing. So then it will refer, uh, refer to different thing, different value. But within the value, within the value, you can't update. Within the value, you can't update. You can reassign string one. You can see it here. First I am referring to 123 and later I am referring to all over. That is possible with primitive data type. But if you set it to set, if you try to modify the same value, then it is not possible. And if you ask me negative index is possible or not, the answer is no. And if the in if the element is not present in the given index means what it will print? It is printing undefined. Is that clear? It is not possible. Clear? And then we do have a important concept. We have a two lowercase method, which will convert uppercase uh, like string into all characters present inside string into uppercase. If I take uh, lowercase, sorry. If you, if I take this example, 
and if i want to make it as lower case i should use two lower case method is that clear and when we might require this if you ask me for example uh, you want to compare two strings whether they are equal or not and you don't want to do the case sensitive operation case sensitive comparison then you can what you can do is you can convert it into lower case and then you can compare and similarly we have upper case method which will convert all uh, characters inside the uh, string to upper case and when you you can use this one as sim same way you can either convert it into upper case or lower case for both uh, strings and then you can do the comparison and another use cases for example uh, in your database you are maintaining the standard that uh, name column should always have the upper case value only so before uh, sending the back end before sending the back end you should convert it into upper case and send it that is another another use case any questions so far Any questions so far? Okay, next thing is very important concept, slice. It might be confusing also. Just get it if you get it. If you don't get it, just try to practice more and more. Try to do code uh, coding more and more. You should be able to get it okay and when we will uh, use slice operator if you ask me if you want to extract some substring from a given string what is substring if you ask me for example now allo word is there right i want i want only word i do i want to extract word information at that time i will be using slice operator how it is possible if you ask me what i will do is so i will tell you the first syntax there are two syntaxes available i will tell you the first syntax okay string one dot slice i should provide from where exactly it should start so i want it from world right so what i will do zero one two three four five six it should start from six right i will specify the starting index of the string from where exact from where i need a substring okay and now if you see here in the console you can see word understood what does it do what it will do is one second i'll just uh change the editor things because it is covering my zoom meeting content is covering the last lines of uh, code that's why so what it will do is from sixth index to sixth index to last index it will extract extract is that clear any doubts and with slicing, negative indexing is also possible. So negative indexing means from left side to right side, it is positive indexing. Okay, first I will say what is positive indexing. Positive indexing is what? Left side to right side. Left side to right side, you will read from left to right read from left to right okay and it would start from zero to n minus one is that clear is that clear and negative indexes from right to left from right to left and it would start from it would start from minus one to minus n is that clear is that clear and if you tell me slicing direction si slicing direction means extracting the values extracting the values would always happen from 
left to right left to right what does it mean let me take this example let me take this example what i will do is for the same string i will try i will say minus 2 minus 2 so since i am uh, using negative indexing so it would start from minus 1 and minus 2 minus 2 is pointing to l right you can assume this way i just have this if you have some um, strings like this if you have some strings like this so last character is minus 1 second last but one is minus 2 minus 3 like that it will go till 8 8 that is n n is size of string okay so if you do this one then it is it is l so whether it will go till h or it will go till d if you ask me whether it will extract towards left or whether it will extract towards right if you ask me it is always from left to right so starting index is l so extract from minus 2 to end that is it will give ld is it clear is it clear say yes or no okay and there is an alternative syntax for slice we should all we, we can also provide the end index as well end index as well so console.log string one dot slice if you want to start from six and end at r means what you have to do is what is r uh, index it is six seven eight eight right eight plus one you should give because it will extract from beginning index beginning index is first uh, index whatever you're specifying from beginning index to end index minus one so if you want till r means you should provide it as n nine is it clear so you can check here wr why they are excluding end index that you should ask um, javascript uh, team only why they are doing this one for front uh, begin index there is no restriction and for end index they are excluding whatever we are specifying is that clear and same thing begin index and end index we can use it with um, um, uh, like negative index concept as well any doubt so far similar to slice we have substring substring is similar to size slice okay but here only one difference is negative index is not possible negative indexing is not possible what i will do is instead of uh, showing all the example i will just copy the existing one only for slice and I will show it with negative index also. Now, if you ask me if I use negative index, whether it will give an error, answer is no. Answer is no. What it will do is if you use negative index, negative index, it will print everything. Okay. Other than that, you can see the same difference here as well. One second, one second, what happened? sorry i have not changed it yet that's why it is printing same thing for the second statement also let me quickly change it so you can see here other things are same word and war is same thing only and if you see this one it is hello world because here it was uh, taking negative indexing and with substring negative index is not, not possible so it will print everything it is clear only differences at negative index is not, not possible and if you use negative indexing it will not give any error it will just um, it will just uh, print everything is that clear now next function is um, replace 
replace what is replace if you ask me say now i have all over right instead of all over i i want to say i i word how i can do if you ask me it is very simple in javascript as name names uh, says you you just you should use replace function okay it is just string one dot replace what you want to replace hello and it is a uh, case in uh, sensitive guys so please make sure that it will be given the same thing if you it it is case sensitive operation okay and instead of hello you want to replace it with i so now if you go and check see i word it got replaced and i have one more requirement now what i will do is i will uh, say hello world and then uh, hello javascript now if you go and check you can see only first occurrence has changed right and not the subsequent occurrences and if i add some more it, it will just update the first occurrence replace will just update the first occurrence and if you want to uh, change everything then you should use replace all it's very straightforward it is pretty straightforward uh, a should be caps okay now you can see i will ijs ijs i think it is pretty straightforward i don't uh, stretch uh, stretch more on this next one is trim what trim will do what uh, trim function will do say we have a user uh, name input and what user has done is he has just added some um, spaces in between okay and at the last also this will usually happen if you are copying something for example if you if you if you have user details in the excel and all right they uh, say some uh, white spaces are there white spaces means extra spaces okay so in that case we should not use this way only right if you just send it to the database then what is the use uh, i will just print it and show it to you know see console um, nobody assign this way that i will agree nobody assign spaces and then uh, they will use this way it is like uh, say you are taking user input from the input uh, you know in html input right from there you are taking and the user adds added some white spaces by mistake at that time you should make sure that you are removing those uh, white spaces otherwise it would be like this see so many spaces what function if you, uh, you if you have to use means it is stream function okay and uh, trim and uh, trim start is also there let me come back to that see it removed the empty spaces between the starting as well as ending from ending also it removed and from starting also it, uh, it removed and we do have a trim start and trim end which will only trim based on the function for example if it is trim start only start trim end means only end part would be removed that is also available but one of the disadvantage or one uh, one functionality which is not available is for example uh, if i have uh, multiple spaces over here multiple spaces here and if i use a trim function see it removed the start one and end one uh, white spaces not the in between one that is the disadvantage of it and in order to replace this one maybe you can go for replace function okay is that clear and now i have one more okay concat concat also similar to um, uh, uh, plus operator only okay it it used to it will add uh, two string values it is similar to that so i need not to explain much on that i'll just uh, do the do this and i will just give you the syntax that should be enough okay see and now if you go and check 
sorry i, I should add a log statement over here now if you go and check see you can see it got con uh, concatenated and now if you ask me uh, when we should go for uh, plus and when we should go for concat you can use it according to your need but uh, always remember uh, with plus and all uh, if you use plus then you can concat with uh, different data types right why like uh, one true for boolean undefined null everything is possible right but with concat only string values you can uh, you can use if you uh, if you want to make sure that um, both values should be string only then you can go for concat is that fine any question so far and there is one important uh, function in uh, javascript uh, for string it is length and it would be widely used it will uh, uh, it will for example say you know always um, string uh, string index will start from zero right zero right and if you want to know the last character you can do uh, minus one as well uh, but with the help of length uh, function if you uh, what length will do is it will give you the length of the string like how many characters are present in now uh, string okay and uh, we can do is string dot length that's it and if you see here it is giving 11 so once you get the string length you can say uh, i will assign it to some n and then say this one and if i want to print the last one how i can access the last element tell me how i can access the last element n minus one last character it will give me last character. It would help us to traverse through string. That I will be coming uh, when I will be explaining the iteration or uh, iteration statements. Okay. So if you know the last character, la like size of the string, then you can traverse from uh, first character till the end. Okay. That I will be coming later. Always remember string for length, string or dot length function will be used. Any doubts? Uh, I will provide. Uh, I will provide break. Uh, break after this uh, function. Okay, this is the last method available in uh, string. After this, we'll have a break. Okay. So next, uh, sub str function it is similar to substring uh, function only what uh, how, what string will do it will extract information we will provide the beginning index and uh, uh, end index and based on the begin index and the end index it will extract the uh, substring right so it is also similar to that but only one difference is it will second argument is not last index uh, one it is a number of characters which should be present in the substring what is that if you uh, ask me let's take this uh, example see hello world and uh, first one is you can just uh, use like this console dot lock sub sub list here and i will say eight eight so eight character is what zero one two three four five six seven eight uh, it is r okay from eight index eight index to till end okay and now if you go and check substring oh, sorry uh, we should say string one dot substring see it is rld it is similar to that and uh, next to syntax is if i say say for example i will say um, string one dot sp str of two so it will start from two that is l it would it would start from l and i will say five characters what will happen is 
from second index it will take five characters five is not an index is it clear now if you see it is second character second third one fourth one see if you count the number of characters it is five right including space it is five so second one is not an index if you say it is slice then it would have ended here right l and then it is uh, 0 1 2 3 4 till l it would have taken i will just show it quickly okay instead of uh, substring i will use substring and now if you see it is llo okay so that is the difference so last uh, argument is not index here instead it is a number of characters which has to be ex extracted is it clear is it clear any doubts with uh, string functions or string methods any questions I know it is a lot, but uh, string functions, object arrays are very important. When it comes to some um, conditional statements or uh, iterational statements, right? There, I don't take, um, I don't stress much because you will be at least knowing the basics. This one is very, very important. That's why. And somebody is asking, what is the substr and substring difference? As I said, as I said, for sub substring end indexes index okay second argument is end index and for S sub str end index is number of characters which has to be extracted it is length okay now we'll quickly have a break uh, we'll have uh, three minutes of break and then we'll start with rs okay i'm completing it uh, i'm trying to complete everything so that um, from next week we will get more time for project okay If I'm putting some effort, please, you also put some effort to uh, learn stuff, okay? Please take a three minutes break and come back.
can we restart now like can we start now i know um, if you are hearing for the first time these concepts uh, uh, you might feel um, syntax is difficult or uh, syntax is uh, very difficult to remember and all but if you uh, keep on practicing then you will be uh, more comfortable with that and uh, i i know i am giving more uh, concepts in a day like in a single day i am covering most of the things just because uh, since i uh, we do our 30 years of uh, content right like it has been scheduled already and we have to cover most of the things in that 30 uh, days only at least i want from my side what i want to do is i want to cover at least most of the important things which i will be using in the industry uh, in the it industry and if i am not able to cover means i will ask you to read more about it that I will specify in the notes. Uh, you can read more about on this like that. I will specify. So please bear with me. Anyways, uh, only uh, six more days left, right? And after that, uh, you will not be having the same uh, course. It would be uh, something else. So bear with me for uh, six more days so that we can cover more. Okay. Just put a little effort now. Shall we start with arrays? Yeah, somebody is uh, asking a few questions. Yeah, we'll keep, uh, as every day, we'll keep some five to 10 minutes for the Q&A session, okay? Don't worry. Can we start with arrays now? I've already created HTML file. Now tell me why, uh, why do we need arrays? What data type it will store? Don't know. Very good answer. To store multiple values of same data type. 50% is correct and 50% is not. Group of elements with similar data type. Numbers. Yeah, at least you are attempting. I am really appreciating that. I really appreciate it. Whether it is right or wrong, in a sequence, homogeneous data type to store address of another variable with same data type, order, homogeneous data type, similar data type. First of all, let me clear. Yeah, it is a data type. It is a data type but it will not hold any specific data what is this it is again confusing right see it is a data type for example the way the way we can create arrays within square brackets if you specify something then the data type of this is array then the data type of this is an array this is how we can create array in JavaScript. Okay, now my next point is, so if you just enclose anything, any information between square brackets, then it is a array data type, okay? And it will not hold any specific data of array means, array itself is not a data type. It itself is not a data type. It is a data structure. It is a data structure where we can store multiple values and these values are not array values it is we can store we can store number my number we can store string we can store object we can store boolean null undefined now next top next thing is it can store both homogeneous and heterogeneous data. Okay. What do you mean if you ask me? What do you mean by that if you ask me? We can store this way also. 123, 456, 786, all are 
number data type. So this is homogeneous. And if you ask me whether this is possible, undefined, I will say name, this is object, right? Uh, and then again, I will create one more array here. See, this is also possible. So mainly it is used to store multiple values. Now, if you ask me, we already have a data type, right? Uh, for everything. See, for example, if I want to store instead of this, instead of this, I can do this way also, right? Where, uh, where, where one is equal to true, where two is equal to null, where three is equal to something undefined, where four is equal to object, where five is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I just have uh, six elements. What if I have thousand elements? Will you create um, thousand variables and store it? Thousand variables and store it. Which one would be easier? And also not only easy thing, okay? We can write it in this way only, right? Uh, say, for example, in your class, 100 members are there, like 100 students are there. And I am taking a mathematics class for you. And I want to store, I want to store in like marks of each student, like first student marks is 100, second uh, student marks is 95, 90, like that I want to store. Okay, in this case, if I have to create 1000, uh, 100 variables, how much time it will take for me? I have to create 100 variables and then I have to assign the value. Instead of that, I can directly create an array, right? With all the values stored. And also one more example is, uh, say next uh, in the next semester, one more student will join and uh, you will take a mathematics exam. At that time also, we can just add it at the last, right? Okay, last uh, student uh, marks is this one like that. It will help in the updating process. It will help in the adding process. And if I if I have to delete it, I just have to delete it, delete it from the array. I need not to delete the variable for that. So everything is simple over here. And now if you ask me when we should go for uh, normal data types and when we should go for array, if you ask me, it is based on the requirement. Student will be having average marks, right? Average passing marks, whether it would be multiple data or single data. Average passing marks is it is thirty five percentage, right? And it is single data, single data, correct? Then we should go for primitive data type or uh, normal data types. I'm just giving a number example here, okay? And if I want to store uh, student marks, student will be having if you consider from uh, first year to final year first year to final year, then they will be having multiple subjects. Like for all the subjects, if I want to store the marks of a student means which data type I should go, which I, sh uh, where I should go array, because there it would be multiple data. Is it clear? Both has its own significance. We can't say oh, only array is enough. Uh, we can't say only other normal data types are, are enough. You should decide, okay? You should decide. It is based on the requirement. If it is single value, go for other types. So if it is multiple value, you store it in uh, array. Is that clear? Any doubts? So if somebody asks you what is array? Array is a data structure. Array is a data structure where we can store multiple data. Answer should be this. Answer should be this. And we, you should never say, we should store only similar data types. No, it is not like that. It is both homogeneous and heterogeneous data. Okay. So similar to object and you can store uh, object also inside uh, array. See, this concept will be used everywhere. Storing arrays inside object, uh, sorry, storing objects inside array. Say for example, I, have, uh, I will take this one in this class, say 1000 members are there. So th for 1000 members, uh, I want to give uh, some test. Okay. So how I can store, uh, how I can store us, I can say name is ABC and test marks is 100. 
name is xyz test marks is 35 like that i can store thousand objects in the same array right and in the it industry you will be using this concept very often where you will be storing objects inside the array because if you consider employee list again it would be uh, employee will be an object and you would be having employees like one company will be having multiple employees so employee objects will be stored in the employee array and if you take uh, amazon orders one order is an object one order is an object and we will be having multiple orders in the amazon so we have to store it in orders array are you getting me what is the real time use case of it and uh, for every order if you create one one object and if you store it in different different variable it would be very difficult to maintain it also as i said updating creating and all it would be very difficult if you create multiple things and if if somebody ask you like what can be the maximum value it can occupy it can there is no limitation on the um, uh, array size like other languages initially only we, it is since it is dynamically typed language if you keep on adding data if you add multi millions of data also it would be keep on growing so no limit on the array size no limit on the array size okay and if you ask me uh, first we'll see how it would be displayed i'll just run this with open with live server see it is having five elements if you see here is true first one is true null undefined then we have an object a 16 names and and then we have an array inside array you can easily say look at this and tell me array index will start from array index will start from array index will start from can you see my screen or can you see my browser tell me are you able to see my uh, chrome chrome browser no okay 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 one second one second let me i think i am just sharing my vs code that's why let me change it i will share my uh, entire screen is it visible now yes now tell me after looking this one our index will start from it is 0 2 n minus 1 n is the size of an array okay in order to get the size of an array like um, uh, what uh, like string we should use length and if you see this one here now it would be 5 is that clear and next one is how i can access the individual element it is similar to it is similar to string only it is similar to string and now if you ask me how it is using indexing see array of 0 will give the first element array of 0 will give the first element it is true and there is one more concept here we have an array inside an array right so if i want to access the last element then it is array how i can access the last element don't tell don't count and tell me how i can access it it is n minus 1 right so n is what array dot length minus 1 this is the way you should start developing okay you should not count and tell me see it is not, array is not a function it is say why okay okay one second one second sorry uh, it should be uh, this one sorry okay see it is saying now two so in order to access the second element how i can do 0 1 so what i have to do is first i will access the first uh, uh, element this element and in this element i want to access the second one so then i should do again one more bracket and should say one see any doubt so far and and now if you ask me can we update uh, using indexing i will say instead of true i will say false now 
with the uh, string it own it didn't work right with string it is not possible right and when i explained why it is not possible string is mutable data uh, immutable data type immutable means we can't change it if we can't change the individual characters for example whole string you can change say string one is equal to allo word and you can say string one is equal to i word that is possible but if you say string one of zero within the value if you modify something that is not possible okay that is not possible so with array since it is mutable data type or non primitive data type it is possible see now if i go and check now it has been updated you can see it over here any doubts now we'll quickly start with the um, array methods most important methods okay first one is push and also uh, not only uh, array guys you might have noticed if you have an object say name is equal to 123 like that and if i i i can update this value right it is possible right see name has been updated now if you ask me ma'am you have used const here and how can you change the const value the thing is you are not changing the object value you are just changing the object property even though you are using const here you can change the object properties or behaviors the thing is you can't change the object itself what is that if you ask me if you say this way 789 this time let's see what will happen and you know to print also it will give in any ways it will give one error see assignment to constant variables so this is not possible we can update the properties not the old value is it clear even for arrays also it is same thing only you can update even if you create it as a const array you can update array of zero not array array only entire array you can't uh, change like that you can remember okay push what uh, now we'll come back okay uh, because we have um, less time anyways i will be covering few methods today and tomorrow i will cover, uh, cover some more fine so first and first is uh, push what push uh, will do if you ask me it will add it will add element at the last see if you add some elements like this and it will modify the original array what if, if it, uh, what does it mean if you ask me see here i am just uh, doing array dot push i am not assigning like this array dot array is equal to array dot push like this like that i am not doing right so i am just adding this one so it will modify the original array if i print it now it would be added at the end array has been already declared i will not declare it instead of that i'll just uh, assign a value now if you see see c678 has been added so now we know how to add now if you ask me how to delete then my answer is pop answer is pop using pop we can remove the last element add element at last anyways i will be providing notes also it will add, it will delete from last last one element okay and now if you see me First, what I'll do is I'll just copy this one, and I will do array dot pop. Now, if I go and check, see it is only one and two now. Is that clear? So similar to push and pop, now it is adding the element or removing the element from the last, right? If I want to do the same thing from the 
front end side means we should use unshift and shift operator unshift is for adding adding at the beginning unshift add from starting so what i will do is i will copy the same code and instead of push what i will do is unshift okay and now if you go and check it would be added at the first index similarly we do have shift shift so what shift will do it it will remove from starting one element from starting what i will do i'll remove this one so with pop it will remove last one right with shift it will remove first one is that clear what is the difference how you can add or, or remove element from the starting and from the ending is that clear any doubt so far and say i have this array okay um i am storing multiple values here okay multiple uh, so it is coming i have written it as multiple uh, chain really like this and i want to fetch i want to fetch the index of coily then what function i should use I just think i don't know what are all the uh, values are available what are all the values are available in this array i just want to check whether e is present or not then i can make use of one function called array dot index of array dot index of value i have to pass and it is case sensitive operation okay and if you have to do something uh, like um, case insensitive then you should co uh, convert all array values as upper case or lower case then here also you should do the same thing and compare it now if i go and check see 3 0 1 2 3 index of coil is 3 and what if i pass bhavya now value is present or not no right no right so it will give minus one this one you can use to do the con validations for example if um, if element found one statement say if if that element found do some operations um do some operations if element not found do some operations for this concept it would be used okay and how can we check whether it is element found or not if it is equal to minus one if it is equal to minus one then it is element not found condition okay then it is element not found condition if it is greater than greater than minus one don't put uh, uh, some people will do this mistake where they will put greater than zero that is not a case because if you put greater than zero what is the index value of uh, sun it is zero right and zero is greater than zero no right then your condition is not valid so always remember if it is greater than minus one then it is element found is that clear and it is very very important i think if i am doing some front end coding at least one time i will be using this function this index of okay and similar to that similar to that we do have includes function we do have include function here here what is the difference between uh, first what i will do is what i will tell you what it will do it is similar to index of uh, functions only if the element found if the element found it will return true if the element not found it 
it will return false understood if the element is there then it will return true if the element is not there then it will return false so you can see false here and you can see true over here so then when we should use index of and when you should use uh, includes if you ask me see if element found if you want to do some operations where you won't be having the dependency of uh, this value then you can use true and uh, this includes function what i'm trying to say is say i'll give an example okay if element found if element found or well, you, your operation is don't do anything oh, sorry oh, we'll give different answer say it is found otherwise not and second example is if element found operation is update the value or uh, you know replace function already replace the value with kavya say say in this case in the first example do i have a dependency on this uh, element do i have a dependency so based on this value I, am i doing something over here no right we are just saying it is found or it is not found we are just saying it is found or it is not found in that case we can use includes in that case we can use includes and there is one more scenario when it is found replace coily with um, kavya so at that time we need this value right first we have to get the value and then we have to replace coily with kavya and then we we have to say what we have to do so we will get the index right anyways we'll get the index index is what it is already over here three so in, if index is there uh, i will show this example if index is there what i will do i will take the index okay index is equal to index of coily and uh, if i will not show if now because i have not covered it right i will say are you have uh, indexes kavya this way i can update right if the operation is similar to that then go for index or else go for includes is it clear then anyways we will be covering uh, iteration and all conditional statements and all then we'll see how we uh, in includes and index self uh, will be used fine so we do have one more important function in um, ja uh, javascript array that is join say i have this uh, string okay which is comma separated string uh, string 1 comma string 2 comma string 3 this one i want to convert it into array then how i can do if you ask me using join a1 dot join if you, you have to do uh, uh sorry sorry here you should use split operator and if you uh, i have not okay now if you go and check see it has created an array from string string to array it is like uh, first i let split and then i let uh, join string to array okay and uh, join is array to string so here i am adding a semicolon here for example instead of semicolon uh, sorry comma if you have semicolon then we should you should add uh, semicolon you should uh, instead of uh, comma if you have space then you should add uh, space is that clear any delimiter 
and now it is uh, i have this array one some random value and then again true so one second yes now i want to convert string to um, array to string then i should use join and we should provide the joining condition joining condition is like here uh, whether we need a separate uh, separation like a comma or space something like that so what i will do is i will say split sorry split and then i will say in this case i will add space okay now if you go and check it has created sorry 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 one second one second join Oh, why join is not uh, working? Sorry, it should be A2. Okay. See, now you see, and instead of uh, space, if I give underscore, then underscore. Is that clear? I left with uh, three more methods actually. So shall I continue for um, five more minutes? If it is okay uh, with everything, uh, with everyone means, shall I continue? So that from tomorrow we can start with new concept. Okay, everyone is saying yes. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Then we'll continue. And next one is reverse. Reverse. Reverse is available in array. What reverse will do is it will reverse the elements order. For example, if I take this one, if I take this one and if I do reverse, Kohli will come first, followed by Sachin and then Mal and then San. It is like that. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll do array reverse. And then let's see. See, this is how we can reverse it. And I will explain the important uh, requirement here. What if uh, somebody asks you to reverse a string? This is most uh, interviewers uh, question. We don't have reverse method in string, okay? In order to reverse um, string, what we can do is, is there any way we can convert um, array to string and string to array? We do have an array, right? We do have that concept, right? We can use join. We can use join, correct. So what I will be doing is, first I will take the string. I will say string one, two, three. I know I'm not uh, providing the proper naming convention. Please don't uh, do this mistake. <laughs> I will say A, B, C, D, F, and uh, I'll just say this one. See, I want my name only to be reversed. Okay. I want my name only to be reversed. First, I will show this way. Then I will show one more way. Okay. I have a single word now. Single word now. This one I want to reverse okay and i will say console dot log string one one two one two three and then how i can convert it into um array it is split function and if i don't give any arguments then it will split character wise so b would be in the first uh, this one first we'll see what is the value okay see it is Okay, okay, I should uh, I should specify this. See. This way, if I don't pass anything, then it would it would split character wise. Okay. And after splitting character wise, after splitting character wise, what I can do is I can reverse it. I can reverse it. So now what should be the what would be the value? It has already reversed it. Now what I'll do. Now what I will do, again, I will convert it back to string. I will use join operator. 
and join by default it will take uh, commas so instead of that just add empty string see it got reversed is that clear is that clear i need not to cover this because it is very important concept that's why i'm saying it is kind of uh, coding uh, thing right it is not a function in an array in array so there is one more requirement reverse each words in string what does it mean if you ask me see i have uh, bhavya now kavya now navya now now what i want is uh, I, i have a sentence here i want this sentence uh, instead of this i will say this is a sentence so word wise i want to convert it in uh, reverse it word wise okay so sentence should be first a should be next is should be uh, then and then is this are you following me is that confusing is my words are confusing did you get it did you get the question we should we want to reverse the words in a sentence okay then how we can do is we can say string 123 first convert it into um, array so in this now now we should split it using space now split it using space and then reverse it and then reverse it and then join using space so this will do the job for us see sentence eight is this is that clear so as we have um, uh, as we have um, uh, slice in string right we do have slice in array as well okay uh it is same as um, slice sorry same as string but it will not modify the mo not modify the original array if you do a slice operation it will not modify the original array it will just extract information it will just extract information what do you mean by that if you ask me what i'll do is i will take one simple array where it is 1 2 3 4 4 okay and then so slice uh, anyways you need yeah slice you already know the syntax right it is beginning index and end, end index and end index will not be considered it would be like from beginning begin index to end index minus 1 and if we don't provide the end index then by default it will take till the end okay so we'll quickly see the things console dot log if i do and then if i do slice to what would be the input uh, sorry what would be the output it would be from second index second index is what 3 t second index till end right see 3 comma 4 and if i say now what would be the value tell me 2 comma 3 what would be the value what would be the value it is 2 because sen from second index it sorry it is a uh, 3 it is second index and then n minus 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 again so it would be 3 only see and now what i'll do is now what i'll do is i'll say console dot log of i'll just copy this one and uh, i will say till 6 6 is not even present right then in this case what will happen if you ask me it will go till the end of the element it is 4 after 4 no indexing is there that's why it will stop over here and i said it will just ex extract information and it will not modify the array right 
what does it mean if you ask me if i print um, console dot log array now array will be having virginal elements only see i did some operations uh, it didn't remove anything from the virginal array it will not modify the virginal array okay and then we do a splice okay and now if you ask me what splice would be used for it will add it will add or remove elements or add and remove elements replace elements i'll say what does it mean if you ask me and before that one important thing is it will modify the virginal virginal array first i will explain you the removal part okay remove how remove will work so syntax is syntax is splice splice start index comma sorry 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 one second syntax is start index comma number of characters to be deleted number of characters to be deleted say i have an array like this and if you want to delete second the uh, like first index second index and third index what you have to do is you should use splice method array dot splice it sh it should start from sec first index first index right and we want to remove three characters so till four we want to remove two thirty three and four we have to remove so we have to specify three so it will remove three characters and now if you go and print the array right we'll see see it removed if you see this statement line number 127 i'll say splice operation and this one is virginal array see it removed 234 and 33 and 4 and it retained 1 and 5 so even virginal array got modified with slice it was not modifying the virginal array but with splice it modified the virginal array is that clear how we can uh, remove um, elements from array by by using a splice operator is that clear so it would be index and then we will say uh, how many elements should be deleted and if i say if i say one only one element would be deleted if i say one only one element would be dele uh, deleted i'll just add one space over here you can see here only one element got deleted over here that is two is it clear and this is very important guys please to listen say i have a requirement to delete 33 from are say you have a student you are a student right you have a they have in your college they they will maintain i will just uh, quickly uh, end this one for maybe uh, q and a session i will take tomorrow uh, i will quickly uh, close this okay so uh, they have a student list and one student uh, got um, like say he got transferred to another college then they have to delete it right how we can do that if you ask me what you can do is say i want to delete 33 right first i have to find out the index 
array dot index of uh, what the what is the element two right uh, no sorry thirty three. So once I get the element using splice operator, what I can do is using splice operator, what I can do is it is index. So index will point to thirty three, and I will delete one element. And if you print console uh, array now, it will remove this. Okay. See now only thirty three got removed here. Is that clear? Is that clear? This is very very important. You can give uh, star 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 to this. Even if I have some requirement to delete uh, one of the elements from the array, right? Based on the value like thirty three four and five, I will be using this uh, logic only. Okay. And now we'll see add how we can add. If you want to add, uh, what you have to do is same thing. Instead of zero, you can just say instead of giving some characters, right? If you say zero, nothing will be deleted, and then you can add whatever you want, like how many characters you want to add. If it can be uh, one element also, it can be two, two element also, three element also, or zero element also. And if you see now, it got added at the this index index of thirty three. Got it. Before this one, it got added. Is that clear? And if you want to replace, if you want to replace means replace. Say you want to replace thirty three comma four, thirty three comma four, uh, with um, uh, sixty six and sixty seven. What you can do is thirty three index is what two, and remove two elements and add two elements. And if you see here, instead of thirty-three and four, we do have sixty-six and seven-seven. Is that clear? Any doubts? We have covered most of the important um, concepts today. Any doubts on this? Any doubts? If people are still active, active or uh, already slept or having dinner. What you people are doing? Listening? Still active? This is very important, um, guys. Uh, this one re required to delete particular element from array. It is like requirement to delete uh, any name from you uh, from the array list. It is very very important. This concept is very very important. Okay. Any questions? On this, maybe since it is already nine ten today, we'll keep uh, five to ten minutes tomorrow for uh, today's uh, topics uh, Q and A. Is that fine? Okay, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate your uh, your taking like eleven minutes extra. I have taken eleven minutes extra, and still you people are listening. Thank you so much. We'll meet tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Kiruna, you can wind up. Okay, ma. Yeah. Bye.